My name is uh, Arne Bilberg and I am uh, associate professor at uh, the university and I'm teaching uh, innovation business students and mechatronics students in uh, how to work with product development and production development and, and operation management and, and a lot of different things actually. Uh, one of the things that we have been had this semester is a project, big project called Experts in Teams, uh, where, which is one of the courses that we give across all the, the study uh, programs. Where one of the projects uh, was about working with, uh, with kite uh, surfing, where we were working with a company, Liquid Force, uh, where we should do some uh, improvement to uh, uh, this advanced equipment. The students, of course, like very much to, to study and, and they also went on, on the sea to, to practice it and came up with a lot of uh, ideas on how to improve such, uh, such a, a product, like a kite surfing. The job is fantastic uh, because it's, 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 it's a lot of different things. Yeah. Not one, one, not two days are the same. Uh, always new thing popping up, uh, new challenges, uh, new students coming. Uh, you have some very good students that you that you kind of miss when they, when they leave, but then suddenly some new ones are coming in, and that gives you new opportunities and, and new challenges. And, and so it is a, a great job to to be at, at the university. Sure, yeah. the students we have they come from from Germany, England. Uh, U.S., even China. We have also Chinese students coming to, to us, so it's, it's really a, a multicultural uh, place to, to study, which is really it's interesting because you, as a student, you get a lot of, a lot of new friends coming from, from other places around the world, so it, it's really a, a, a very international environment. And the language, they, they catch it uh, very quickly. That's, that's really not a, a, a big problem. We have a, a mixture of uh, classroom uh, uh, education, smaller uh, groups. It's typically in a class we might be like uh, 25 students, sometimes 35, uh, but many times also down to uh, even 10, 15 students in a class. So we have, uh, have a close cooperation, close connection to, to the students very much when, when we teach uh, the students. A lot of the problems uh, or things we're teaching is, is problem-based, meaning we are working on projects and then uh, the most theoretical aspects are actually kind of taught, used as part of the, of the, of the projects. Even at the first semester, uh, at the very first semester when, when students are coming in, they're getting a task to, to solve, uh, developing some kind of, of device that could do something, uh, take some movement to, to for some music, or they're going to make some, some climbing, uh, small robots and stuff like that. And they don't really have the... the, the, the the, the skills and the knowledge to do that at that time, but they, they pushed out to it and then they actually uh, come up with some, some really funny stuff uh, and they learn a lot and they learn also to, to see, oh, what, what are we kind of missing uh, to, to actually uh, fill on in our studies. So that, that way they kind of become uh, motivated for, for the further studies. Engineers have to learn the technical stuff, but uh, we also in Sonoma are focusing very much on, on innovation and business so that they actually learn how to uh, un un interpret and understand advanced mechatronics uh, technology, but also think in innovation, work uh, innovative and, and, uh, and uh, look, look at it from a business point of view. Is there a business potential? Because that is really something that is very important also for the future, uh, for the students and as well as, as for Denmark in, in the future that we can set up some new uh, businesses and so on. So a lot of the, the engineers graduating from, from us in Sønderborg, they, they really, they can go out into a, a company, an existing company, and work with innovation, making innovative uh, practices and activities in the existing companies. They can also go out and start up as entrepreneurs. Uh, only few are doing that right after the studies, but, but uh, some of them really have a gene to actually uh, maybe starting up their own business in, in the long run.